This is what's wild in Hampshire by wildlife biologist Eric Orr. Well, today is uh, Wednesday the 12th of July. Wednesday the 12th of July. The last time I took a picture here, a video, was on the 5th. And the river was higher than it is today. So despite the flooding west of the Merrimack River, I'm, I mean, even towns just west of Manchester and Concord took a beating from this storm over the weekend, over last weekend and uh, into early this week. But uh, the Suncook River, this is Short Falls Epsom, Suncook River, Short Falls Epsom, Wednesday, July 12th, 2023. And we got some rocks just about showing. So the water's flowing good, uh, especially very good for July, middle of the July. This is not normal flow for the Suncook River in the middle of July, the last, uh, you know, the last decade or so. In fact, as I have been mentioning, in five of the last eight years, including this one, we, we were in a drought. No drought today. No drought. My garden's doing awesome this year. Haven't had to water it yet. River is up. I mean, it's not up to a flood stage. It's just up. This would be, uh, this is less than normal than the normal, say, spring flow, but it is up for the summer's flow. So not as much water as, as typical mid-July here. Well, we got a little bit of white water there. So Short Falls, Sundercook River, Epsom, New Hampshire, mid-July. Good flow way more than it has been the majority of the last decade for a mid-July time, but not bad. Nice looking water. <laughs> Today, another day, sweltering day here in New Hampshire, probably close to 90. Didn't check it. Yeah. We got some water flowing in the Suncook River. Not bad, not bad. This is wildlife biologist Eric Orr for what's wild in New Hampshire. The Suncook River is wild this afternoon. Mm.